All right, in question B2, it gives you a hint. It says, factor each expression by factoring out the greatest common factor. Now, in your quiz again tomorrow, I'm not going to tell you do this. I'm just going to say factor completely. You should always be thinking about the greatest common factor. Now, this next step is going to be kind of painful, but it just kind of shows you what it means to find the greatest common factor. Now, each student does not need to do this, but it might be helpful. Negative 9x to the fourth is negative 9 times x times x times x times x. 45x cubed is negative 9 times negative 5 times x times x times x. And negative 9x squared is negative 9 times x times x. Class, what do each of those have in common? A negative 9. and x squared. Now, I'm going to write everything that's not in red. That would be x squared, negative 5x, and there's no number here. Does that mean I leave it blank, class? No. Remember, you can always have 1 as its factor, so negative 9 times 1. So the 1 still there, that would be a positive 1. Remember, if you're checking your answer and you're not sure if you're correct, you can always what? You can always multiply. Negative 9x squared times x squared is negative 9x to the fourth. 45x cubed and negative 9x squared. Now, if you look at this number here in purple, you might be asking yourself, can I factor that again? Well, if I do a times c, I get 1, and my b value is negative 5. Class, so there are two numbers that multiply to be 1 and then add to be negative 5. Any numbers, class? Mm -hmm. No. So in purple, this is prime, but pay attention. You don't write prime as your final answer. We're just saying in this purple, you cannot factor anymore. So our answer is just the GCF in this problem. Negative 9x squared times x squared minus 5x plus 1.